Oke, okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this occasion, I would like to talk and I can tell to you about uh, a journal that I found I found in website or in online. And the title is e-learning and its impact on rural areas. But before we start our discussion about this journal, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Indra Stewan and I am a student in State Islamic University of Sultan Sharif Kasim Riyadh, Pekanbaru. And I am in the sixth semester. And okay, we come to the first. It's about the definition. In the first part, in the first, I, I would like to, to talk to you about the definition of e-learning itself. So based on the journal, e-learning is referred to teaching and learning by using electronic media. Uh, uh, and also e-learning is generally meant for remote learning or distance learning but can also be used in face-to-face -face mode okay we, 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 we talk about the definition first and we know that e-learning means to the some technology or or how the learning process will be done by through the technologies right and and from this journal we know that learning is not about when you you as a student face to face with your teacher is it not only that but also when the teacher cannot attend the class they still have have strategy to make a learning or to make teaching and learning process and it is the it is the example of the strategy e-learning and we come to the effectiveness I think it is will effective that will be that will be applied by the teachers who who cannot attend the class directly when when she or he have has another problem or another another business and or or maybe she or he has sick sick and and doesn't come to the class but we should as the teacher we we, we should make sure that this strategy cannot be applied in our class because e-learning means the teacher not only the teacher but also the student can 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 be can can use technology itself and have capable capability and ability to use the technology and we come to the next is about advantages so some advantages from this strategy i arrange uh, the first is will assist the teacher of course when she or he doesn't come to the class directly face to face teaching and learning process with the student and the second one i think it is as as the alternative 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 strategy that teacher can use when the school or there are some prob problem that faced by the teacher to come to the, to the to come to the class but we should realize and aware that there are some disadvantages in this strategy 
The first is e-learning need internet connection in the school or teacher house or teacher home and I think it is important to make sure that the student like I said before the student has devices that support the e-learning and I think that's all and we come to the the last part is about conclusion I conclude that this I said that this strategy in learning can be applied in Indonesian school but I think not all of school or all of students in Indonesia can be can be applying this strategy because we know that uh, uh, the capability ability of student Indonesian student is not the same as another student in foreign or in another country so I think it is the good one the good the good a good strategy when teacher cannot attend class directly so they they can use e-learning strategy to make uh, teaching and process teaching and learning process still work properly i think that's all thank you for your attention assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh